Hello everyone. This is Simba. He's a little Maltese. He's a little over a year. Um, and this is his little Asian fusion grooming. He just got his bath and I am now combing him out for his groom. He's been fluffed and now I'm just separating all of the hair. This is my Utsumi half moon comb. Um, code Jilly10 will get you 10% off of it on the Utsumi site or on anything Utsumi. They all like to face the front. All right. Simba little baby. I do short ears on him, a little Asian fusion head, short body, and stylized legs. So I have already done his paw pads. Let me see. And his nails. Before his bath, I trimmed his sanitary and his underbelly. And I also take my five in one and shave right in front of the ears and any hairs that stick out. Okay, so this is my Andis five in one Vita and I'm going to put it on a 40 blade. On his body, I'm going to be using a two comb when I will be skimming off on the legs to be able to create a longer stylized leg pattern, as you will see. Taking the bulk off here. Taking three passes is advised. Now on this hip area, I'm gonna to need to set in angulation and make a nice blend into the longer hair. So at his top of rump, I'm skimming off. Then I'm gonna take this down and under. I'm going to go in the opposite direction on the undercarriage. This is my first pass. Now, from the point of shoulder, I'm also going to skim off straight down and skim off. I don't want to pinch in at the elbow because I want to make sure he has enough leg hair. And I'm not going to pinch in too deep here at the elbow. Remember I'm skimming off here. Now for rear angulation. I'm going to go, going to bend his knee, and at the bend of the knee is where I'm going to scoop out. I also, on smaller dogs, will take the inside of the back leg, the same length as the body. So here, again, bend of knee is my point of reference. Come here, bud. And I'm skimming off here, coming tighter around to give that angulation. Bend of knee, inside of the back leg. him off.
Every dog is different, so you have to use their body structure to determine where you're going to skim off. Again, on the shoulder, see that? He's a little chunky. See that? Come here, sir. See that bump there? We don't want to pinch the elbow, so we're just coming straight down. And this will be scissored. And then that will be scissored. Getting the undercarriage in reverse. Being careful not to grab this hair. Go with the grain of the hair in the natural direction that lays. So from the back of the head. And under the ear. Right at the occiput here. Lift the ear. Skim down. Okay, now that I've done the majority of his body, I'm going to back comb all the hair forward in the opposite direction of growth so that I can make sure I don't have any uneven spots. So I'm combing everything up. And making my second pass. I got you. This is how you get that great finish. The cowlicks here, I may have to go in reverse, but this is still my second pass. This is not my finish work. Straight down, under that ear, straight down, not pinching, not going to dig in here in the front of the leg either. Even after you've comb back combed once, going to do it a third time. You can see how nice and plush. Let the clipper do the work. Make sure you've got it on its cutting edge. Let's skim off. Literally not letting the guard comb touch, just skimming off that bulk to help me set my column legs. Skimming off. Taking it around here to set in the angulation. 
can also go in reverse to get that cowlick. Or you can scissor it, but this is a quicker way. already see we're starting to get that curve straight down. Again, the blade is not touching the leg at all. I'm just skimming right here. In the back of the neck, behind the ear, forward. And here, I'm going forward at the point of shoulder. Now, the same here. Behind the ear, under the ear, down the chest, and forward and in, not in, like this dip, in towards the chest. Okay, so basic blocking in a pattern is done. You can see I have not taken too deep into that tuck up and I have left this hair here. All right, now, sorry bud. I'm going to back comb this chest area. and right under that breast. Now I'm going to gently lift him up and come in reverse from underneath. Make it nice and short and tight. I've already done his sanitary work. finish work. If I see any spots I don't like, I go over them. Little high areas. Not touching the legs, just skimming. You have to have confidence in your clipper skills to be able to do this. Otherwise, you're going to make the legs the same length as the body. But this is a stylized leg trim. All right. Now for his ears, because I'm still doing clipper work, I'm going to change to a number five comb and do his ears because we keep them nice and short. So I'm taking the bulk off right where the ear meets the top of the head going in a crisscross direction to take off the bulk. We're 
again, right at the top of the head, the top of the ear. Behind the back of that ear. All right. Okay, so for the tail, I have it all combed out. For a golden retriever, for example, here's the tip of his tail. You want the length to ultimately be at the hock. His tail has grown quite a bit and it does get tangled. So I am going to trim that. And these are my Utsumi Super Curves. If you don't have these, what are you even doing with your life? They're phenomenal. Come up. I'm not gonna go directly to the hock, but I am going to bring the tail up. Take off some bulk here. Good boy, stay. Up, up, good boy. And I'm not pulling his tail hard. He just wants to be able to look forward. And we will match the other side. Now I will use, these are my Utsumi Speedies. Like literally, can't live without them. This is to trim that fluff. This is the stuff that tends to cause mats. So I'm thinning this out. And giving him a more natural look on the tail. making sure I give him enough room here that, be very careful here, that no matter is gonna collect when he goes to the bathroom. All right. Going to start on his face and I'm going to use a four comb for under his chin and the bib area. All right. So under his chin, let's see, Simba. Good boy. Uh, 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 uh. Right under that chin and down. I got you. And the bib area is here. You're not gonna go too low. Simba, shush. Okay. That's all I need that for. And I'm gonna take the same length of his body and I'm going to trim on his face only the sides of his face here and here. 
not going up into this ear portion or the top of his head. We'll trim his ears in a moment. Not going forward, I'm only doing in front of the ear down. Okay, right now he's a little antsy for his head, so I'm gonna move to his back legs. So what I need to do is blend the short into the long. Now that all that skimming that I did has helped that, as you can see here. When I fluff everything up, it's already a pretty great transition. We still need to make sure that we have a nice blend. So I'm gonna take my thinners, and I'm gonna blend the short into the long here. I'm just going to trim up these areas. This is also my Utsumi pink comb. Nice and gentle. When you use thinning shears, you use that little tap tap motion. And we'll tighten this up here for the rearrangulation. Okay, let's start by blending that stylized leg on this side. Short into long. Tighten up this cowlick area. Help with that angulation. Again, that almost circular motion. It's like a tap. So now, I need to work on the inside line here. Straighten this up. Don't want to leave a curtain hanging here, but you don't also, when it's tight here, it's kind of like a bichon, very tight. You can see the skin. So you comb that up. Always comb, use your comb, use your comb. Now we're going to work on the rest of this stylized leg. So I did have these longer, but in the hair should ideally come straight down. So he does have missing hair here. But mom and dad wanted them shorter last time, so I had to take off some extra leg hair. But I'm combing this up. And I am going to use my Utsumi 6518 chunkers, which you would think might be too aggressive, but they are not. They are great for taking off bulk and also for fine finishing work. Must see, bud. <sighs> so 
So now you can see how I'm fixing. that dip by taking off some of the leg hair and I'm going to let leg hair grow in here. These chunkers are amazing. Use your comb, use your comb, use your comb. Let's work on the back of the leg. Back of the hock. Let's see. Good boy, stay. Stand up, son. All right, second leg. Start from the back. Trying to make sure he is standing straight. Nope, gotta do your angulation. Stand straight. Good boy. Front. Let the shears do the work. Okay, feet. So we have to let this grow in, but let me get that rear angulation here a little bit more. Tighten this up right to the bend of the knee. Not yet, sir, almost. Can you stack for me? K. 
Okay. I'm gonna use my thinning shears here to find any high spots on the belly. Nope, stay. Just blend that nicely. And that tuck up, not gonna to take too much of that hair off. I just wanna neaten it up. A nice little angulation here. Let's switch sides to that belly. My speedies. Neatening up that tuck up line. Use the teeth of the thinning shears to pull the long spots into the cutting blade. Let's double check my angulation here. A little bit more tightening to sculpt from this part of the pattern. front legs. When you lift up the opposite leg, the dog is forced to stand on the leg you want to work on. There's a little tip for you. Simba's smart though. So you can see how there is a noticeable dip here. And that is what I'm gonna to try to erase. These are my 6515 chunkers. They do a great job with detail and finish work. Even though they're chunkers, the finish is nice and fine. turn around because he likes to look outside. So I've got him combed up. You can also do the side of the leg. By holding it like this as well. stay. Mm -mm -mm. I got you.
or the inside of the front leg. You can come from the rear as well. Check your work. Tighten this around the shoulder into the front. Remember, I take it tighter there because he wears a harness. Let's see. Put your feet down, sir. All right, let's move you to the front. Get some light. that shoulder so it looks like an invisible line all right now let's finish off these feet using the very fine part of my Utsumi comb. Comb everything down. You can hold the other paw. I'm gonna want a line straight, a slight bevel in the front. Trim that up in the back. Trim off. If you run your shear over the top of the foot, you can see and feel how much there is to take off. He's ticklish foot. Neaten up your bevel. Lift up the back paw, back leg, comb everything down. And you want to be able to come watch the pad right across. Do not scissor around pads unless you have experience. And I'm gonna take my thinners. Oh, come on, bud.
soften these lines. That bulk that's right here. Let me show you another way with a five in one that you can do a bevel instead of shears, it's faster. But if you wanna practice your scissor work, then I highly recommend you do that. Okay. I've combed it out. I'm pulling all the hair. Take your five and one on an angle. Stand straight. And you can just hold the other foot and then tap at an angle. Give him a little bit. I got you. Almost done. <sighs> Put everything down. Do not overextend the leg. Clean up that extra. Put down. And tap. Last foot. Come down. Good time to check your top pad work. Keep the dog in a very neutral position for comfort. I set that nice from the back of the paw to the front.
your time. Okay, face and ears. So I've already used a five guard comb on the ears. Now it's time to trim them. I'm gonna set them back first because I want to clean up the line in front of the ears. These are my Utsumi 6515 chunkers. Look at that. Right under the, uh, 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 and under the ear in front of the head. Same on the side, I come to the side of the dog. So my shears are positioned in the same way. Come back, comb out, check. And then this muzzle. Eyes, thinning shears. A lot of people use a 15 in this area, but I don't. All right, so now I'm combing everything down for the head. And I want to make a nice, soft view. See how my shears are tilted? They're not straight up and down. Now I'm going to come up and soften around the corner of the eye. Shh, 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 shh. Hold it on, the eyelashes out of the way. Check my work. Now I'm gonna move up. Now it's time for the muzzle. No, no, no.
holding his mouth very gently so that tongue does not come out. And so I can feel it just in case he starts to move and wants to bring that tongue out. And you gotta be very careful. Pushing hair forward with my shears so I can see how it's laying and blending from the head into the neck. Fluffing up. Rounding out. Making sure we have a nice, even blend from the chin into the muzzle. So you just take your time, scissor with intention. See, when I pull this side of the face forward, how much hangs over the nose. What you really want is to have it come to the nose. Let's fluff him up. Good boy. from the side. I'm watching the nose, feeling his movement. Let me see. Seeing an area to blend here. Boy, almost done. Yes, we are. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, 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 shh. Let's see. Let's see. Rounding. Checking. Simba. Simba. Now we gotta do the front of his lips. Do not open them too far. I like to clean off his nose. You can also do this with a Prav Mini. Uh -uh. Mini clipper. Now let's do your lips. Gotta be very careful here. Boy, who's my good boy?
Let's see. Let's comb you out. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, see that cute little lip now showing? Gives a whole other dimension to the groom. Simba, let me see. I see where it's too long. ears and top of head and we are done time to work on the top of the head uh, 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 uh. oh come on I always use my chunkers up here Simba I am not holding him tight he's pretty fussy today all right, see this? I need to clean up right at the back of the occiput and blend it into, uh, I did the blue comb. <sighs> nice and light. Then, combing everything up. See what we have. <sighs> Simba. Switch to my thinners. spot. Ears. These are my Utsumi Cobalt. Um, I think these are eight inch. Yep, UE80 Cobalt. Straight shears. Be very careful. Watch the edge of the ear leather, do not cut it. Keep your finger on it. Hey, almost. Again, feeling for the edge of the ear leather. Clean up this triangle.
my little ear. You know we're almost done, huh? Uh, 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 leave it. Be very careful. See, that movement is why you really have to have your finger on the ear leather. Can you turn this way for the people? Stay. Mm -mm. Check out the other ear so I can match it to this one. This ear, one well, is the ears aren't. They don't lay perfectly, so one is always a little bit wonkier. How'd we do? How'd we do? Huh? How'd we do, Simba? <gasps> Are you done? Are you done? No, don't step. Are you done? Are you a handsome boy? Yes? Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Nice little Asian fusion stylized trim. Oh, Simba. Yes. Oh, yes. What a cute boy.